Hello Void, I'm Agitated Crane and today we are going to deal with spider infestation. I am hoping that it will be manageable. Can't beat it. I was raised in the city. I'm more used to feeling cobblestones underfoot than grass in the fallen leaves. Before I went to Avernus, I'd have agreed with you. Nothing quite like Baldur's Gate, is there? Nothing All in right. my recollection, anyway. Okay. Are we done? With character development. Okay. So this is the well. We are going down. And the spooder is I think someone there. Somewhere there. So the thing is I think it was level five. And I think we are still not that high level for it but hopefully is it not here hold on where is it um No, it is here. Okay. So once we go down, we will get this spider. And somewhere here is the boss spider who is gonna trigger and summon a, bu a bunch of these uh, little spiders. So, um, I'm not sure if I will be able to, to beat it. Uh, the fucking thing is uh, teleporting all, all over the place so that's go going to be an issue uh, we did not take ranged characters which uh, may have been stupid idea Karlak is still level 4 which is not great I would have preferred her to have double attack first uh, but, uh, okay, at the very least we have uh, Cooper with double attack and that's that's the fucking thing. At the very least we have uh, Cooper with double attack and Lysel with double attack. So let's hope that it is going to work somehow. Can we walk on this? <laughs> All right. Why is it dis disadvantaged though? And why can't I move the fucking... Okay. Why can't I move the camera? Outside of normal range. So if we get closer... We get better attack. Great. This, is this bonus action? No, that's regular action. Right, and this... This is gonna fuck with... Uh, the fuck are you guys doing? Move. Right. They were not in, in, in combat, so they were suffering through... Endless loop of uh, fucking... Web... Bullshit. Okay. I do not believe ensnaring strike would do anything. It will just teleport away as soon as it, it is able. However, if it summons a bunch of spooders, I think I can deal with it with them by hail of thorns. Uh, piercing strike is uh, melee for whatever reason. Harm string shot again. They, it's just going going to teleport. So just. Shoot it. Uh, critical hit. Yes, of course. Great. And now we have a second attack. Which is not critical, but it's still a decent... Decent damage. And just in case we are gonna drink the potion. Okay. 
Ow. Right, so here she spits out a bunch of these little sp spooders. Uh, okay. So. Guidance Bolt. Eh. I guess we have to move first. And now Guidance Bolt. Still only five, 55%. Fuck it. Nice. Okay. Um. Okay, and turn. Now you are going to deal with this dumb spider. Come on. So first attack, second attack, and fuck it, we are dealing with a serious threat here. Third attack, nice. Now run here. fuck is this? Oh, we get a second attack. That is great. That is great. Um, <laughs> sure, fuck. I, I don't think spider can be tripped, but maybe. Who knows? Yeah, it cannot be tripped. Uh, that would cause su superiority die. So let's not do, do that. That's end. Now, right, so we have to rage. And now the leap attack. Of them, yes, we can do this. Look at this. Fusroda and damage. Nice. Okay, let's end the turn there. And now spooderlings are gonna move and they are gonna dash. Oh my fucking god, they are surrounding her. I don't remember if I gave her potions. Well, whatever. So what we are gonna do is try this Hail of Thorns and we are just gonna shoot where are we gonna shoot? Like this, maybe? With higher level? No, I think we are already doing higher level. <laughs> if I shoot Karla, I'm actually gonna deal damage to everyone. So I think this is the best solution. I think it's gonna hurt Carla as well, but I hope that she can heal from that. Ow. Fuck happened. And where is the second attack? Well, I guess the spell counts as an action the full action I mean okay whatever to keep going and turn ow and now she can run up to this shit hold on she can actually miss the step with bonus action the problem is this this thing is probably gonna kick her off. But let's try it. And now trip attack cleave lacerate. Yeah, we are going for lacerate. Nice. And second attack. Nice. Okay, I I don't wanna I don't want to jinx it, but I think we can deal with this, with this nonsense. And let's uh, 
Should we burn through this? Let's not, maybe. Or let's... Yeah, let's, let's burn through it. It's not like we will need it. I think I will be taking long rest after this nonsense anyway. So let's just... Go full, full on. Ignis. Or better yet... Ah, uh, I can't reach that destination. Okay, so hold on. Can I do anything else with her? Um. So the thing is, I'm stuck, so I can't reach her. Ignis could deal with something. The problem is I'm not sure with what. Let's try this nonsense. Yeah. Nice. And I guess we cannot move. So that's fine. Uh, can we heal at least this guy? Yeah, we can. Nice. And turn. Oof. It's running away. Now. Where the fuck is... I do not have potions, really? Jesus. Okay, then cleave... Through... All of this nonsense, I guess. Great. And now we will also do pommel strike. Pommel Strike is not gonna kill it, right? Well, if we roll like the best best thing, maybe. Alternatively, we can dash. All the way here. That should not have been... That should not have happened. I believe I thought I thought my dashing does not provoke attacks of opportunity. Is it not the case? Probably not. Anyway. Okay. So these assholes chase me, that's fine. Disadvantage. Why? Because I'm poisoned. Okay. However, however, I think I can leave that um, that thing to Lysel. So instead, I would want to deal with these two. Ow. And then attack. I can't attack. I can. But I can move in. And I can give... We're gonna split this. And I'm gonna give this to Carla because she needs to heal a little bit. Turn. Ooh. Ooh. That's a lot of damage. Okay, where did all my potions go? Who has them? So, I need a bonus action to heal myself, just in case, and then we're gonna slash once, slash the second time, and we are gonna do evasive footwork again. Right. That's it. Now, Carla needs to be healed. Take That's great. I can actually bonus heal 
supply as well as well if I... Oh, nice. Nice, we are doing very well. Right. Um... I cannot jump to them, which is sad, obviously. Um, Watch this. Reckless attack. Ooh, finally. That was beautiful. And the turn. This went significantly better than uh, the fucking last time that we attempted this. Oh my god. L look at this beautiful combat that we just had. Shadowheart, get away from the fucking web. Okay, everyone else step in the right. What now? And we can level up, which is great. More HP, we get... What do we get? Destroy undead. Oh my fucking god, this is going to be great. Level 3 spells. Oh, best of course. Curse a creature with your touch. Mm, touch. Curse either bestow disadvantage on checks and saving throws or attacks. Let's you deal additional damage to the target or robs it of its action. Okay, and then we have fear. Well, fear. I don't really like fear. But sure. It's nice to have it, I guess. The curse though. And then prepared spells. Level 3. What do we have here? Bacon of Hope. Your allies will regain the maximum hit points possible when healed. They also gain advantage on wisdom saving throws and death saving throws. It's great. Protection from energy. I don't like protection from energy. If you know if you know what you are getting yourself into, like if you know for 100% that you are going ag against fire wizard or whatever, then yeah, that's that's great, but in most of the cases you don't know who you, who you're going to be fighting. So you can't really prepare this. Remove curse. All curses and hexes. Um, wait, isn't the fucking mask in the hack dungeon would be considered a curse maybe? Or maybe like the the little guys that she had in the in the gallery, maybe those can have the curses broken. Glyph of warding. Um, this requires a lot of preparation. I don't think I will have patience for this. Spirit guardians, call forth a spirit to protect you. Nearby enemies take radiant damage or necrotic damage per turn, and their movement spell is halved. Okay, this is actually interesting. Daylight. Enchant an item to shine like the sun or summon a sphere of sunlight that dispels all darkness around it. Uh, that's great. Mass healing port. Oh, that's powerful. Animate dead. Create an undead servant from a corpse. Revivify. Revive a... Oh my god. So we no longer need... We no, no longer have need for scrolls. Feign dead. 
put an ally in a protective coma, they become resistant to all damage except psychic damage, disease and poison have no effect. Hmm. So we are gonna remove protection from energy and I sort of want to remove speak with dead because I have it on the um on the talisman. So instead I kinda want Or revivify, I guess. I'm not using inflict wounds. What what can I use instead? Bane, command, bless. Bless isn't would would be better, I think. And then, what else do I not use? Prayer of Healing. Ah, I see. Cure a creature from disease, poison, paralysis, or blindness. Mass Healing Ward. It's a fucking bonus action as well. I think I think Spirit Guardian could be good if uh, if I'm surrounded. I am taking remove course though. Right, and if we look at Shadow Heart, yeah, she has speak with that as uh, as the item, so we should be fine. And now. Level up our Barbarian. So much HP. Extra attack, great. Fast movement, great. Gained passive and change bestial heart. We are not gonna change it at all. Uh, we did get Legacy of Avernus, Branding Smite. Which I believe we had already, but I think this is an improvement to it. Except. And let me look at it. Oh. So she actually has like a lot of these. So you can move it like here probably. So she has Legacy of, of Vernus Searing Smite. And then we also have uh, Branding Smite. So we, we have either Fire or Radiant Damage. And Fire makes them burn, while Radiant Damage prevents them from becoming invisible. Okay, so that should that should be great. Now I also have to loot everything. Hello. Poisoner's robe. When the warrior casts a spell that deals poison damage, it deals additional poison damage. Okay, so that's literally nothing that I can use. Sorry. Let's Back toggle the group mode and let's use our rogue to go through the webs and collect shit because he cannot be ensnared. ensnared. So I guess these little guys do not have anything. Great. Right. 
I missed. I, I keep missing stationary target. Okay, never mind. Um, I don't think they will. Yeah, I don't think they would uh, hatch without the brood mother. Face spider egg. So I can take this and sell it for silly silly price, but it will encumber me, okay. Um, okay, let's go down. And we discover the waypoint. When we are completely done with this dungeon. Finally! So yeah, I don't think there is anything left in here. I did find all the um, places. A breeze. Something's down there. Well, we have Skellington. And she felt a breeze. Where exactly? I don't know. Let's... Oh my god. No. No. We were passing gear, I think. So let's try using crow. No, of course we cannot use rope. What, what I was thinking. So maybe here use the rope. No, that would be silly. No. No rope use for us. Okay. Um, right, so looking at this, I think I discovered everything. There may be something there, but I'm gonna doubt it. It's probably just a dead, dead end. But uh, I don't know. Should we go there maybe? So it's like, I think, here? Or is it there? No, it's... Or is it... No, we were everywhere in here. So there is not nothing to see, I'm pretty sure. Here. Yeah, the, the, this, this is where we are supposed to go. And I think there is a way to go, actually. Oh! Oh, there is another part of this, this thing. So maybe, maybe. That bag will fit in my pack. What did he try to put in his pack? Torch, okay. Right, so we can smash into some, some house, I guess, from here. Sure. Glad that caught my eye. Karloch. Let's go in. Go smash. No, I mean... Can I just show it, maybe? Too heavy to show. Okay. Hey. Never mind. Long way to go still. Then I guess we are... We are gonna smash it with me. So hold on, we were not in in this house. What's well, yeah, I here? guess I did not go through all the. Be wary. This place is trapped. You assholes! High cliffs blueprints. Fuck is that? Wait. 
precise arcs and neatly drawn lines from the blueprint of three weapons, a greatsword, a sickle and a dagger. Each length and angle is marked with exact measurements and forging instructions are printed carefully along the bottom of the page, emphasizing an unusual ingredient, susur bark. The susur bark can only be applied to an ordinary unmodified blade. Okay. You susur bark? Rare find. There's only one place I'm finding a Susa tree. The Underdark. Okay. We have a trident. Thieves tools. Shoveling. Hand axe. Hand axe. Some crates and stuff. And... More for me. Approachable east. More rope that is gonna to en encumber us and do absolutely nothing for us. Short sword, sure. There is a table. Ooh, table. I can put a table in my backpack, surely. Alright. I think I'm again full on supplies. Yeah, it's fucking half of our inventory are supplies. Here goes nothing. Blacksmith bellows. Hmm. All right. So I need to get here, but I destroyed uh, the fucking. Uh, The fucking ladder with the explosion. Not enough space. Right. So what we are gonna do is jump all the way there. Great. Oh. Everyone actually gonna follow. This is beautiful. This is going back from my inventory. And now with this thing. I'm gonna put it there first, and then I'm gonna put it there, and now wish to live in more I can open it. Times. Look, big trouble now. All right, it's 15 with the guidance. We should be able to get it. Yeah, nice. See? Teamwork! And it got it has steel forge sword and blacksmith note and infernal iron. Infernal metal. That's what my engine's made of. Hang on to that. Alright. I'm actually gonna give it to you right away. And I wanted to read blacksmith's note. Uh, specimen metal, hardness very hard, melting point unknown, color silver, American X-ray lacerations, flecked with yellow dust, uh, source maybe under dark. Notes, gift from a redacted, faintly sulfuric odor, forging unsuccessful, will not melt or warp at standard temperature. Okay. What path lies before me? So when we finally find that um, I'll give it a shot. that blacksmith, we have uh, points, we have uh, the, uh, what else do we have? We have the iron, so hopefully there is going to be something to be done with it. Here, I have some rope, it doesn't fucking work. Uh, I should stop looting all the nonsense that I find. What's in here? I should be looting potatoes. That's I think is necessary. I am gonna loot thieves tools. 
the problem is the fact that I'm looting everything actually gives us like a bunch of gold which uh, allows us to do other interesting stuff so maybe I should but it's like one gold, I don't know. Fucking shears that do not work probably same same as the rope. Okay. This we could have put on fire probably, but let's not. What is up here? What's this? I don't know. sandals. No potatoes in here, really? A little bit of gold. More gold. Rotten carrot, not even fresh one. Thieves tools. Some sandals. And some shitty clothes. And we have a door here. Can we look at look look at the picket that? Yes, we can. Nice. Once in a while, Lazel. I do not take days off. I'd even forego sleep if such a thing were feasible. The one advantage an elf holds over a Githyanki. All right. So I guess um, I never opened this door. I guess I decided that it's part of this dungeon, and there is. The, the goblins there, so we don't care about it, maybe. Should I try to loot this guy? Or do we not care? We probably don't care. Right, so... And also there is this way here. But that's where the sexy time was happening. That we unsuccessfully interrupted. Or I guess successfully interrupted, but... Unsuccessfully resolved. Why was there no option to join in? Hmm? Okay, so we dealt with the well. I guess. Um, I refuse to go to the fucking tea house. I just completely hate it. Uh, so Myrina has to survive for a little bit on her own. Um, other than that, it looks like I explored most of the stuff. Um, what is and then what we have left is mountain pass. Which uh, I would prefer to go through the Underdark instead. So that's what we are gonna do. Uh, no, we should take a long rest, I guess. Because we are a little bit worse for the wear. I have to sell all the stuff to Volo. Take like... um stock of our inventory and then we will go through the Selenite outpost. Yo, Volo. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. 
Thank you so much. So we are gonna sell amethyst, pearl, bloodstone, onyx, bronze goblet. Battles make make me think that they are pointless as well. Let's keep just a little bit of water. Let's keep just a couple of bottles, even less, even less, because I I suspect it's not going going to work. Same same as the fucking rope. That when whatever I find, it's uh, it's it's pointless. Silver necklace, amethyst necklace, or ring, I guess. Onyx ring, ruby ring. We have a lot of thieves tools which are actually taking a lot of uh, weight as well. But I would prefer to keep them. Shovels, let's sell two of them. All of the rest, I guess we need. No, hold on. I did not want to sell this. I wanted to see what is inside. Open. Oh, I cannot open it from here. Okay. Anyway, barter. And... Yeah, I don't think he has anything of value. So sell. Um, you? Nothing, and you can sell a lot of stuff, so you're gonna sell all the bottles, you don't need them. Bow, skull, lyre, um, let's keep it, leather gloves, all of this pointless armor that is not actually like better quality. Can just sell. Great. And you can sell all the ropes as well. Okay. So we sold all the ropes. I should keep at least one. Just in case. Uh, so leave. Now. All of this bullshit. So scrolls go to our cleric who may not have other options than to use them. Parchments and books going to the camp. The adventurer pack we have all of this shitty stuff. So, acid wheel will go there, grease bottle will go there. Uh, what else can go there? Arrow of fire, arrow of ice, arrow of acid. Can they actually stack? Yes, they can, and they do. Beautiful. Um, right. Now let's go consult our inventory in Traveler's Chest. Alright, so we do have some duplicate books. So we are gonna, we are gonna make sure to sell the duplicates because no one needs the duplicates, right? Okay. Mm 
those I believe are whales and gale armor. A lot of supplies not not in fucking bag. So I'm actually hold on. This armor. Mask of Shapeshifter. So this looks shitty. I it's like deluxe edition item or something. I don't care about it, so that's why I don't have it in the inventory. Uh, peculiar clothing chest. It's the same thing, basically. Patched together sack should have no. Should have loots, leers, and all these books I'm gonna put in there as well. My type. And. Fuck! So some exciting gameplay here, as you can see. But this this needs to be done. And last time I tried to do it off camera, I had um, unprompted conversation with uh, Dream Visitor, so I w I would prefer to not have something like that happen again. So we have a pack with books, we have a pack with um, some like legacy armor that we are not gonna use but we don't want to uh, lose I guess because we like the design. stop collecting books. I have a silly amount of them already, looks like. Okay. Is that all? Finally. No, it's not all. Okay. Borwa map, blueprints, dates, I don't even fucking know what I would use it for. This die goes there. This goes there, faded documents. Why is this reserved? Don't know. Anywho, why is it so heavy and not pricey at all? Would I need it for anything? Probably not. Okay, so that's what we have to sell. All of this I think I can send to camp. Okay, so this iron flask, I have been thinking about it, and I think we will have to make executive decision and just open it. 
because I honestly like I don't know uh, what else to do with it. There is, I I could I guess discover who NF is first and then maybe try talking with him, but I don't think it will it will happen the way I want. Uh, can I not? Yes, I can move it. And then can I open this as well and move it like so? And then move all of this shit here. Hold on. Sorted by type. If I can get it sorted, everything. So all of this is weighty and doesn't actually need to be in my inventory. So all these supplies are going in here. Wait, why, why do we have... Can they not stack? Really? The fucking salami do not stack? No, well, now that's just silly. All of this should stack. Okay, if it's if it's different bottles, fine, but like salami, salami. Oh they hold on, they do damage. I can wait, this is this is a club weapon. <laughs> so so I can use salami as a weapon? I see. It also sounds like a fucking stone. <laughs> Cabbage. Cabbage cannot be used as a weapon. Only salami can be used as a weapon. To have carrots and zucchinis and sausages that cannot be used as weapons. And then we also have all of this shit: garlic, green grapes, honey, ham, honeyed ham, lemons. So we can make some lemonade. Beer, pig's head. Pig's heads are probably heavy as fuck. Yeah, fucking hell. All of this. Pork loins and pork shoulders are probably heavy as well. We are carrying like a bag of potatoes with our with us, so that's silly. Pumpkins also should be heavy stuff. Bag of apples, the entire roasted turkey, some ham, and fucking supply bags. Spicy sausages, watermelons, one walnut, okay. Okay, and now this we can sort, sort of, kinda. Not sure if it did well or not. So now we are light as a feather. Still gonna talk with Volo, sell some books, I believe. What's up for discussion? Ah, my... Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. So, sell all of these books. That's about it, I think. And so our inventory is now looking incredible. I still have a bunch of potions and stuff like that. I think that's fine. She has revolver five thingy. Right. She doesn't have a rev uh, revive st 
Stone. Not Stone Scroll. Mm. This flail is slightly better damage wise, but we are not gonna use. We will probably not want to use it as. Uh, oh, Sh Shadowheart. We won't want. We wouldn't want to use her as damage dealer. So I think Fairy Fire is probably better. Right? Because Fairy Fire gives incoming attacks have advantage. So if we have enemy that uh, keeps evading attacks, we can hit it with uh, this Cyanide and then it will be easier to hit. So that's great. Oh, I could go for a good meal. Carol has some... Uh, some armor, Lear. I believe I already have one, right? Open up. So, I think it would be in here. Open. Now we have spider Lear, so we can actually put regular Lear in there as well. Right. Open. I'm gonna keep what looks like um, quest related notes outside of the bags. Okay, so great. And then. French philosophy. When guess it was a unique book. Great. Poisoner's rope. Like it's well be done. And steel forge sword, which is a one-handed sword. Let's give it to Cooper. She is missing Despite everything. all the potions. Next, I so split. Give it to her. We are quite low on potions, actually. Can I... Can we sell po potions? Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Well, he has a couple. Potion of animal speaking. Okay, that should be it. Right. Hmm. I'd love to, thanks. So about this uh, poisoner's robe, um, honestly I don't know who I would give it to. It's sort of like wizard robe, right? So give it to Gale, but I'm not sure if he has even poison spells anyway, so I don't know. Let's. Let's just keep it for now. He has... what the fuck does he have? He has some sort of summer rope or something that protects him from... Uh, uh, from... Uh, cold damage or something like that. Soldier. Come on, let's go! Act 
action, not reaction. I've got a long road ahead. Mm. And then this thing. What is momentum? Spurred on by a sense of urgency, the affected entity movement speed is increased. Okay, so that's generally great. I don't think we will be dealing with goblins anytime soon. And this is just a regular dagger. So what other weapons we have? We have Watcher's Guide. When the spear misses its target, the wielder's next attack roll against the target gains True Strike. Uh, that's interesting. And then speed reply. We slash and we move a little bit faster. Lead fingers could be good for um, Karolak, but I way. think she has something better. Ever vigilant. She gains temporary hit points if she ends the rage. No, I'm... hold on. I'm gonna give this Fleet Fingers to her. What's the story? Because she has... Uh, she has dash as a bonus action. When she is raging, she can dash. And so I can dash and then have free jump. That seems like significantly better option for movement than... Uh, Gaining temporary hit points, but ending rage and basically uh, disabling ourselves from combat. So this is better for um, positioning, I would say. So yeah. I wonder what the next move is. My face protects me. I could give this. Mace to her. She would do less damage, slightly, but she will basically get she would basically get life steal. And what is mad? Hostile to everyone in vicinity. Okay, so we don't want her to use this. Never mind. So, so this 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 entire weapon. I'm gonna say it's a, it's a trap. Our uh, cyanide is significantly better for the cleric, I think. And uh, this could have been interesting for the. Um, for the war warrior, but I don't want to risk her becoming mad and just killing everyone with uh, with that thing. So I think we will just give it to someone else. No time to rest. And by give it, I mean sell it, maybe or something like that. All of this shit, I'm carrying it with with me for now, but I think I should probably start selling it as well. Would, would this still forge sword be slightly better than what she has? Not at all. Never mind. Okay. Uh, so Will wants to speak with us? No, not with you. With the main character. Will's brows furrow as your minds connect. He sees the burning embers of Joaquin's rest, then Floric's face as she tells you of Raven God's abduction. Hells. Older Raven Guard's been taken. This is something that sucks about these games. You never know who you need in the party for the story. So, for example, when you are dealing with... Um, when I met that bounty hunter, for example, I would have preferred to have uh, Asterion or Asteron or whatever his name is in the party right away, so I can resolve that thing. Instead, we had to go back and forth, and maybe 
If I had him in the party, maybe I, I wouldn't be able to resolve it, resolve it and had to kill him. But, um, yeah. And in this case, it seems like Will would have been great to have during uh, flaming, flaming Fist interactions. Because he actually knows what the fuck is going on there. You must know the man, judging by the concern in your voice. <laughs> I know him better than most. He's my father. Oh, see? I know I haven't said. Our relation was no matter of pride, not least for him. All my time in Baldur's Gate and I didn't even know Ravengard had children. The one, yours truly. My father and I were close once upon a time, until he disowned me and cast me out of Baldur's Gate. I can't tell you more. The pact forbids it. My lips are quite literally sealed. He made me an exile. That said, I'm not about to let him suffer at the hands of his captors. What do you think the draw want with your father? I've been asking myself the same question. What makes a Duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the drow? Even the houses of Men's Oberanzen would have little use for my father. Well, no, hold on. No, this is no drow plot. These absolute nutters, yeah. these true souls are behind his abduction. His absence alone will sow chaos in the city. If they were to infect him, he could lead Baldur's Gate to ruin. All the more reason to find him. The Absolute has seized not just my father, but the future of the Sword Coast. Um. Yeah, let's let's finish this uh, dialogue tree. You shouldn't keep secrets like this from me, Will. I know, and you're right. My story is one of two men. The Blade of Frontiers. A man hunting the fiends who prey on the weak and claw at the coast. And Will Ravengard. A memory of a memory. A man who belongs to the past. I wanted you to know the Blade, not the shadow he left behind. Let's talk about something I'm else. for it. Uh, sure. What was it like being the son of Grand Duke? Not so enchanting as you'd think. The poor tears, the cold wells, they were the blue bloods hosting the fancy balls and drinking from gold goblets. Fathers, the son of a blacksmith, born with barely a coin in the coffers. He made a name for himself among the flaming fist, brave as Balderan, stubborn as a deep rofe. Daring, outspoken, but hardly posh. <laughs> I spent more time dueling with father than I did rubbing elbows with lords. Not to say I didn't develop a taste for good wine and the talent for courtly dance. Courtly dance? We'd love to see a demonstration. <laughs> It's been a badger's age since I've twinkled my toes. A drunk ogre could put on a better show. That I would like to see as well. You dance like a drunk ogre? That sounds hilarious. Count me in. <laughs> well, give it some time. Develop a bond and maybe I'll show you a move or two. I promise, Clumsy Oaf is well within my repertoire. Ah, uh, come on, this, this, uh, this does not require a better bond. I could have made, like, a silly dance as well as, like, my, my, my dwarf could have made a silly dance. Okay. 
and we already talked about the elitid stuff and i actually i i don't want to push elitid um, um, elitid powers on uh, my companions i'm gonna embrace them myself but for the rest of them don't i think it's better if, if they remain normal if yankee patrolling these wilds is an unexpected surprise whatever they seek They'll not hesitate to kill us if we stand in their way. Okay. Um, speaking of Gityanki, I guess Lazel might have something new to say. Speak quickly. Mm, or I guess nothing. Shadowheart has like a bunch of dialogue options and I wonder why. It seems the Githyanki are keen to reclaim the artifact I carry. I can't afford that to happen. In fact, none of us can. That thing is shielding us somehow. I don't want to know what happens if we lose it. There must be more to the artifact. You were sent to take it. You must know why it is so important. I only know what I know. I was ordered to retrieve it, and that's what I intend to do. The rest is immaterial to me. Hmm. So see a bun bunch of stuff. And so I wanted to avoid talking... Um, talking about like the relationship and stuff, stuff like that. But let's uh, let's try to get rid of these three options, I guess. I want to get to know you more, Shadowheart. You already know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? Um, what drew you to Shar worship? She took me in when no one else would. Without her, I wouldn't be alive. She's my mother. She nurtures me, cares for me, loves me. Don't believe the lies the Salunites tell. Okay. Do you have something besides Shar, besides Tadpoles? This may anger her, because she, she seems like a very fan fanatical when it comes to Shar. So she may not have anything besides besides that, to be honest. What? Besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? Well, yeah. I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? Alright. Night orchids it is. Okay. Um, sure. Point out night orchids to me if we ever pass some. It's a deal. No. Anything else? I can't. Okay. Quite literally, I mean. With my memory suppressed, I can't betray Shah's secrets. And I can't remember much of myself either. If I manage to return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission. Then my memories will be restored. Oh wait, so it's like that? So when when she goes on the mission, she she gets rid of the memories. Of course. Seems extreme. It is an act of faith, not to be undertaken lightly. Shah will reward me when I succeed. You and I wish our, wish, wish our something special, I think. I want to talk Very about it. serious of you. But go ahead. How are you faring? I'm a little bit worried that... You know how she has memories suppressed? She, she could be married. 
or or something like that. So asking her that she she did not have relationship like this one, she may not remember. <laughs> she she may be in like twenty relationships right now because <laughs> she was on different missions and she keeps forgetting this <laughs> the shit. Always good when I'm with you. Okay. I want to talk about what happened Sorry. to us. What's on your mind? Um, what do you think about what happened to the druid I grove? I suppose some would commend our actions. Goblins would have raised that whole place to nothing if it weren't for us. No excuse to rest on our laurels, though. We've still got our own problems to contend with. Am I holding up? Quite splendidly, to give credit where it's due. You and I have shared some good times together. And it seems we have plenty in common. Alright. Okay. So we talked with her. Was not as scary as I suspected. Uh, Karlach maybe has that some... That contraption's a hot ticket item. Might not be our last scrap for its sake. Um... Which contraption? The the bottle or the 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 metal that we well not sh sh surely not the metal. But she's talking about the scrap, so maybe how did you end up with such a contraption in your chest? Yeah, ten air. The place, sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero. Karlak, a not need delinquent from the outer city, with everything to give and nothing to lose. I have been pronouncing her name wrong. Looking for a fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected. A lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. She put this thing in my chest and set me to work, but to war. I learned quick how to stay alive, and the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. The stories I could tell. Who was the boss? Guy named Gortash, politician, inventor. Um, One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. Wait, Gortash? I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job, a good job, with people I liked, doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. Uh, Gortash... Gortash... Um, I don't remember the name of the organization, but uh, the guys that were looking for the um, uh, genie bottle that we have. I guess it's a genie, right? Or... Well, what, whatever it is in that bottle, I'm thinking of genies because genies are usually in lumps. Uh, so when we were in their uh, hideout, uh, what was the name of their... It was something Zen, Zentash or something like that. I don't remember. But uh, Gartush was uh, like their leader, I think. Or... or uh, uh, founder or something like that. I think we we wrote, we read about it in one of the books that we found there. What does that infernal engine do to you? Gives me energy, power. But you've seen it in action. Very hard to control. If I'm excited at all, angry, nervous, delighted, 
enticed. I burn hot. Hot enough to burn anyone who gets close. Hmm. You must be pent up. <laughs> I, I try not to think about it. I still think about it constantly, but, you know, I try. One of these days, I'll sort the whole infernal affair out, get myself cooled off, start making up for lost time. But not today. All right. I yeah. believe she had more stuff to say. Now that those paladins are out of the way, what's next on our on your agenda? First things first, I need to get this engine tuned up. Things powerful, but it's been feeling volatile ever since I left the Hells. Can't be too hard to find an infernal mechanic ground here, right? Hmm. Okay. So now we are gonna rest, and then we let's not leave out a stereon. I suppose you want to hear about Casador. You said he was your master? My old master. Before the mind flayers took me from him. Before this strange, twisted freedom. Casador Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate. The patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power. Not political power or military power, I mean power over people. The power to control them completely. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn. And he became my tormentor. How are you turned? Not him, no. A gang of thugs attacked me, angry about a ruling that I'd handed down as magistrate. They beat me to death's door when Casador appeared. He chased them off and offered to save me, to give me eternal life. Given that my choices were eternal life or bleed to death on the street, I took him up on the offer. It was only afterwards I realized just how long eternity could be. Not a good master, I take it? He had me go out into Baldur's Gate to fetch him the most beautiful souls I could find. It was a fun little ritual of his. I'd bring them back and he'd ask if I wanted to dine with him. And if I said yes, he'd serve me a dead, putrid rat. Of course, if I said no, he'd have me flayed. Hard to say which was worse. Mm. You are free now. Enjoy that freedom. I will. But I won't take it for granted. The Mind Flayers aren't the only monsters out there. They're not even the only ones hunting us. All I'm asking is that you keep your eyes open and watch out for anything lurking in the shadows. You keep me safe, and I will do the same. What more could I ask? Now, is that all? Um, do you have any... No. No comments about Githyanki, Flaming Fist, or anything else. Okay. Okay, so I guess we rest, and then I'm gonna check the Emerald Grow once again. And... If... Wait. Wait. Can I... Can I, like... Can I do, like... This? No! Oh my god! What is happening? Okay. Uh, split. Okay, okay. Hold on. 
Yeah. And let's. I should probably not waste time trying to do this, but fuck it. I don't want to waste resources. Alright, so we go to Emerald Grove once again. Check if there is uh, anything to see there. And if there is no, not, then we go to Under the Dark. So let's first do that. We should probably end the episode as well, because I think we have been going for quite some time. Oh, Shadowheart. Talk. There's something I've been wanting to share with you. If now's a good time. All right. I'm all ears. It's difficult to put into words. I think it might be easier to just show you. Yeah, sexy time. Use the tadpole. Okay, never the mind. Connection. Come into my mind. Hmm. Are you sure? I'm sure. I trust you. All right. I don't remember how it started. Only how it ended. I was fleeing. You just said that? Okay. All right, maybe the fact that she's afraid of wolves. So it's follow up on that. Yeah. Such are sharp people. She asked my name. Can't remember what I said. Can't remember anything before those words. All I know is she saved my life and gave me a new home. With Lady Shah. <laughs> it hurts. That's all I remember. Failed safe religion. Oh my god. All these saves I'm failing. I should have fucking played wizard or something with, with all the skills. Or who, who has all the skills? Probably wizard, right? But no, I think 5th edition put a stop to that. In, um, in previous edition, skills were based off out of intelli in intelligence. So if you had a bunch of intelligence, on each level you were getting extra skill points. And so you could have put skills everywhere. Another skillful character was Rogue. But not because he had high intelligence, but because he just got like a bunch of skills off the bat. Other characters get fucked. <laughs> like seriously, they, 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 they skills are abysmal. And the fact that you need perception to see stuff that normal people, people would see. The fact that you need athletics to survive stuff, climbing fucking swimming, jumping, all of this shit, and you get like three skill points in some cases, and you get a deducted one because you have poor intelligence if you are some fighter or something like that. It's fucking disaster. Uh, also, I feel like we had some, like a little lag during that cutscene, I hope that was 
uh, temporary. And I wonder if it's... Um, well, it probably recorded the like as well, anyway. No wonder you are so dedicated to Shar, you feel like you, like you owe them your life to her. Uh, yeah. Lady Shar. But yes, her and those who saved me and taught me her ways. The Mother Superior. She made me who I am. At least, as best as I can remember. She taught me, trained me, punished me when I failed her, which was often. You must have been important to her. Perhaps I was. She sent me on this mission, after all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, and so I wanted to go to Emerald Grove. To see if perhaps the Tifling Blacksmith is back, which I know he's not, but let's just try it, you know. Just in case, maybe he's back, maybe like when I was here it was Sunday and he was not here because of that, who knows, come on, surely he's back. Either, but they're leaving, if it had been up to Korga, and they would never have been he's here not, god damn it. Well, we know they moved to Baldur's Gate, I guess, so... Or they were going to Baldur's Gate, so I guess as I travel, I may come across him again. Although they probably went through the mountain pass and I'm going through Underdark. But, uh, yeah, whatever. Lethal. The Underdark is everything I thought it'd be. Seems worthy of a Githyanki warrior's estimation. Oh, to be deemed worthy by the great Lizelle of Kresh Kalir. Continue as you have, Karlak, and you will achieve the same. Okay, ladies. Uh, we have to somehow open this shit. Ah, there is a lever. Okay. So that solves it. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna end the episode here, and in the next one we will go through the fucking Underdark and try to survive. Because we did see that there are some like... Where was it? Some Somewhere around here there were like... Yeah, petrified the drows, so... We had a Minotaur at the gates, which was... Not fun either. He's level 4 and he is like 84 HP. So, even with our Barbarian, I think it would take like a couple of turns to take him down, during which time he probably could wreck us. So, yeah. Lots of stuff to be done. Um, dangerous times ahead. I hope you enjoyed the episode, we brought revenge to the spider that killed us previously, so yeah, small victories, anyway, goodbye, I will see you next time.